The PhotoLink Library, it's open for business. Mike Stevens says he has a few images that might just make you take a second look. You know what gets me rolling on a chilly autumn day? Soup. Like the one Becky Latona made in Pittston. Looks pretty good, wouldn't you say? Nah, but on with the show. Foggy sunrise here from Nicholas Lessie, Plymouth. A sunrise like this, given the time of year, might well be expected. A similar image from Avis Miller and Berwick with a place to sit as well. And of course, there are those frosty mornings like the one Valerie Eichner found in Sealands Grove. Nice touch to what seems to be a nice day coming up. Another nice one here, coming after a long string of rainy days, made this one especially valuable to Melanie and John Boone in Mill Hall. In a way, these are things to be expected given the season. The Hillsgrove covered bridge with a bit of decoration. Beth Caviston of Hillsgrove found it. But here's something you might find unusual at first glance. Old friends return, writes Mike Meyer in Roland. You think this a summer image, but Bill Ramsey in Watsontown just caught it. Autumn Mantis is the title. This would make you take notice from Becky Latona Pittston. Hope for the next generation of butterflies. Oh, here's another sit up and take notice moment. Given the time of year, Kay Andrus thought the little guy was out simply enjoying a warm fall evening. From Linda Bartlett in Middleburg, a tasty snack in October, strawberries. How about that? I send shortcake on the horizon. And from a while back comes this old timer, Ricky Zapolsky found in Friendsville. This old boy's time has passed, but it still carries memories from a long time ago. Our closing image comes from Donald Surfoss, evening at Sugarloaf Mountain. Not so much an oddity, but still something you could look at for a good long time. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.